Okay, let's look at ads plus plus on the bullish side today, just as a methodology to understand. So, what is ads plus plus? Ads plus plus is basically you're looking for creating an anticipation watch list by going through whole lot of stocks. The stocks which you go through for this particular thing is stocks which have established momentum. So, in this case, for established momentum, we are going to select stocks which have trend intensity above 105. So, this is a universe which I have created where you are looking at US common stocks, you are looking at ADRs, you are looking at exchange traded funds, right? So, this is a universe which, I, which has got US common stocks, ADR, and liquidity is true, uh, price is above $5, and this is the momentum condition where you're looking for a stock which has a momentum of 1.05. So, total you are getting 706. So, this is a labor intensive method where you want to find a stock which is setting up for a possible breakout, like say Solar Age. You might like want to find it as a stock which is setting up and that we create a list. So, in order to create this, once you have this list, sort it by the negative because anything which is up is not what you are interested in, right? And you can find both candidates, you can find long and short in this method if you want to look at long and short, right? So you go through everything and keep looking for a candidate which is setting up either as a long or a short. So that next day you have a watch list of stocks and you can operate from a watch list. This is especially useful for people who have problem with getting into breakouts early. Because if you have a problem getting into breakouts early, then if you use this kind of a methodology, you'll have a watch list. If you operate from a watch list, then you'll be able to get into them very quickly. So let's look at all of these uh, quickly and see what is setting up as possible breakout for tomorrow or it can also be a shot. And here when you're looking at, you're not really using the kind of condition which we use for anticipation, when we use anticipation, in anticipation we have very strict condition, you are only looking for, I am looking only for a stock which is up or down 0.4%, while in this ads plus plus kind of a methodology, you are looking at a much wider selection of stocks. Uh, the only reason why I do not do ads plus plus is because uh, the time required, it requires a lot of time, you will have to do, uh, dedicate around one hour after the market close to do this and I like to do my work during the market hours. This also gives you a good understanding of what is happening in the market because as you can see some of the stocks which had momentum, especially in the oil and gas stocks, they are showing uh, signs of pullback now after making a big move. Many of them had big move and some of them had like in a really ugly reversals today, uh, which is to be expected when there is a parabolic move which happens. So this is something which is going sideways, right? So that's the kind of setup which you want to see because if there is a breakout on this, uh, I would definitely be a buyer if there is a breakout. Now we are in a bearish market. So you're getting only 705 stocks. If we are in a bullish market, you're going to get like in 2,000, 3,000 stocks. So this is why this is a very labor intensive way of finding anticipation. And that is why I do the anticipation the way I do it. But I'm just showing this as an alternative method for some of you who are looking for, or who are working or you who have problem getting into setups or you feel that if a stock makes 4% then the move is over kind of a thing. Uh, so, or it's too late to get in. So, that is why I'm showing you this. So, we are looking for some sort of a consolidation from which a stock, if it breaks out, it will form a two lynch kind of a move, right? This has only two days, so some more days might set it up. That Sierra. That's a orderly pullback if there's a breakout, that would be a good setup. Testing. 
So if there is a breakout from here, I think it might still work. It's a little bit choppy, but here you can create a watch list and later you can drop some of these stocks. And this is the kind of approach which a lot of professional traders use where they go through then create a watch list and only those on their selected uh, watch list, they'll look for a breakout. So that way uh, you already have these stocks in your brokerage, you have like ready when the market comes in, opens and uh, you are only focusing on the stocks which show up there. So once you become good at it, it can take you not much of a time to do something like this. It can be fairly quick because you just need to look for that pattern. So you can go pretty fast on this thing. Rate of Arma, that's setting up nicely. The volume is really high on that one, so but remember in this market many of the anticipation kind of setups haven't really worked well. So keep that in mind also. Uh, you need to do this method during the times when the market is in a much better situation than it is currently. Uh, but I'm just showing you a method. So some of you can start using the method to start building a watch list and make it part of your daily routine. Um, I don't really do this nowadays. I used to do this earlier and spend a lot of time doing this in the night, two, three hours going through this list, creating a watch list. Nowadays, I just run a scan and find setups and enter them as and when they show up. So as you can see in less than 10 minutes, I've gone through half of them uh, really. So 1000, 1200, 1500 should take you around half an hour, one hour to do it. Once you become good at doing this, again see here, the first leg orderly, if there is a breakout, are you going to be buying it? I, I would definitely say it would be a good buy. So Madsen, which we looked at during the day also. So academia healthcare. So when you do this uh, on a daily basis, and if you make this as part of your method, what you will see is that whichever stock is setting up for a breakout, you can see uh, them getting set up, and that way you are familiar with them when they break out, right? Uh, many traders use this kind of an approach, like people like Dan Zanger and all, or even Mark Miller when he they grow through a lot of stocks in the night. And then they create a watch list and look at like, so here this first leg, very orderly pullback here. And if there's a breakout, that will be a buy on that ATSG. And this one is like, you know, not a bad one. And because we sorted by a negative price, the one which I already had a breakout today are the one which will automatically get eliminated basically in this particular case. So a lot of set, uh, stocks I already made a move in the sectors. So not many consolidation as such you are looking at currently.
you looked at around 600 stocks, 100 more to go. Now you are looking at most of them are breakouts, right? And so you start looking at breakouts now. So again, if this breaks out, that will be a good breakout. So 625, so around 70 stocks more. And most of these will be now breakouts because you're looking at around dollar breakout kind of a territory now, right? So Asbury Group, that's a pullback. It's also a pullback kind of a setup, so I can put it there. And always remember, we can always clean up this list later tomorrow morning. So start with a larger list and then narrow it down for the one which are likely to more likely to work. So most of these are now breakouts. These are all breakouts now. So if you do this daily, you will be on top of every stock which has momentum. Every stock which has momentum, you will be on top of. So copy flat. To end of the news. Uh, so anticipation. And if you see, now we go to anticipation list. We have a wider anticipation list. Where you can like any look at Fang as a possible LNTH is going sideways. This is for a short site, right? And Sara. Then you have Hen Celestica, which was from a reversal DFH. You have Gogo, Reta, BHC, DST, Panel, Brooktail. This is for a short ATSG. So really, some good watch list which you can make from this particular thing. Right now, the next step is in the morning to prioritize this and then put them in an order uh, in IB if you are using interactive broker and keep orders ready. So, if you see a breakout happening and say this particular stock, then you want to get into them as fast as possible. Say, like Fang, and you keep an order ready and you see if like any breaking out, then you can enter early. So, this is called as an anticipation plus plus, where you put in a lot of elbow grease to go through hundreds of stocks, thousands. Especially in bullish market, you are going to be looking at thousands of stocks and then find create a watch list out of that. So you will be operating with around 20 stocks a watch list. Prioritize that watch list so that like you are only focusing on 10 of them and then enter them into your IB. Keep everything ready and operate from your brokerage platform itself. You see something going or put alerts and as soon as they start going, you can enter early. That is one of the ways in which you can enter early for those of you who cannot operate from a scan or a breakout scan.